Okay, so let's call this meeting to order. Um, we can do roll call. So it looks like we're missing a few people. Um, we don't have Cindy. We don't have Jessica, is that right? We don't have Jennifer. We do not have Terry. And that is it. Megan, I think Terry and Cindy and Jennifer are all excused. Okay. So just Jessica, we might be missing that. So then, um, agenda review. Is there anything that anybody wants to add to the agenda that is not on there? Do you guys want me to share my screen to show that agenda or whatever you guys prefer? Uh, a question, Megan? Yeah. Where we have two, a couple board members absent, do we want to give voting status to the two al alternates that are both here? I know they do it that way on the, on the, uh, planning board so yes um that would give yes. us a quorum that's right rob did mention that jason and ken will be uh, they'll need a full vote full vote from them um so if there's nothing to add to the agenda um we can move on to the approval of minutes Does anyone have any questions or comments about the February meeting or have looked at, have a chance to look over the minutes? Motion to approve minutes as presented. Second. Second the motion. Yeah. So we'll need a roll call vote on this one. So um, Pat. Okay. Jason? Yes. And Kenny? Yes. All right. You also have one more. <laughs> that would be Tim. Tim, you started it, right? Yeah, but you still have to include me. I made the motion, but I still have to vote on it. All right, Tim. Yes. <laughs> Thank if you. We're following Mr. Mr. Roberts' rules of order. Yes, you very much are. So thank you. Like I said, I'm well, I'm this, just peaceful, so thank you guys for your help. This is for well, this is all good. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. So <coughs> the tree warden update. I will be talking about the three bullet points here. So um, just as a reminder, we're applying for the two Project Canopy grants. The first one um, is the tree inventory update. And I met with the student that was um, utilizing the graduate student for that grant to um, update the tree inventory. And so he's on board and his mentor, um, Tish Carr is also on board, so that's great. We got a letter of support from them, so that's moving forward um, just fine. Is there any questions about the tree inventory um, update project or, or that grant in specific? Uh, no, just a comment, uh, just in terms of my position on the various things that go forward to the state, being a state employee of the um, entity that awards them, I'll, I'll recuse, recuse myself from uh, participation just to avoid any conflict of interest suggestion. Yep, that sounds good. Anybody else, don't be shy. I know how talkative we all were in the last meeting. Yeah, so you're the one that put most of the the uh, the grant proposals together, correct? That's right. I, well, well done. Thank you for yes. your for your work. Oh, thank you. Did everybody have a chance to look at them thus far? Yes. Very good, Megan. Yeah. Excellent. Oh wow! Great. Wow. Yeah, I read the the of the um, 
the one for uh, the tree inventory update and yep. no notes, no notes as, <laughs> as we sometimes say in my job where we give each other a lot of notes and stuff. So yeah, I thought, thought they were both great. Excellent. So noted, Jason. <laughs> All right. That's great. Um, so that one's moving forward just fine. Um, the the second grant that we're applying for is the we're gonna um, plan to put in some funds to get 225 trees for the Godfrey um, Drive buffer strip, and we are planning on um, making that a Arbor Day event which is the third full week in May. So, and we'll talk about that in number six as well, but that I just wanted to give you a brief overview of that as well. Um, and Dave, Dave and I met and uh, talked through some of the tree species and, and um, looked at some of that as well. So is there any questions on that event? I know that we were, we were thinking of maybe May 20th, it's a Friday from three to five. I don't know if anybody has any other thoughts on that. The, the bare root stock that we're getting. Yep. Okay, I have a, I have a one planting bar that somebody can use. It's a lot easier to use than a shovel. And if we don't have enough, we ought to get some somewhere, borrow them, right. whatever. I, the land trust might have one. I'm not sure. Yes, and I know we did add in a few, um, a little bit of money for planting supplies in that grant as well. So if we have to get another one, it shouldn't be a problem or a couple. How many, how many do you think? Well, if we had a total of four, it would probably be enough. Okay. We also might be able to borrow them from the University of Maine. I would expect that they've got several. And May 20th being after the end of the school year, they might be available. OK. How does that date work with everybody? Does that seem to be OK? It's far enough in, it's in the future that anything's possible. <laughs> Is that something where when you say Arbor Day event, meaning like we would invite the public to participate or? I think so. So our original thought was um, to get all those trees and then set up right at the um, uh, parking lot that's right on the other side of it. And so that's kind of, it's away from the road. It's a safe spot um, to have any volunteers that want to come, but then you kind of have it almost as an after school program as well. If, if you had younger kids that wanted to come from three to five. So um, that was the original thought. Yeah, uh, Public Works will also be there, the employees, to, if they need to help dig any holes or anything like that, um, and just to assist. So, but yeah, that was the original thought. And I assume there'll be more planning for that event um, in the next April meeting. More so logistics. We need, we're gonna need to water them after they're in. And I know the town has a big, fairly good sized tank on a trailer and the, I have a smaller one that I could uh, fill from here to get okay. out in there. I think um, will they have to be watered that day or like a few days after? Well, it wouldn't hurt the water when we put them in because it, the, the bare roots are going to be exposed to the air. If we take as we take them out of whatever they're coming in a container or I, I get that I don't know are they containerized or are they bare root I'm not sure which I believe they're bare root a lot of them come in containers now what makes it easier to plant and there's a you know there's a mulch soil around them small amount okay I can I can ask. I, the only thought I had on the project was um, the use of Scots pine, uh, just that's been facing a bunch of different uh, hardships recently. And I was wondering if if that had, <laughs> just in terms of, uh, I like to see them being from Scotland and I think they look pretty, 
I'm just wondering if uh, if they're physically the right species to put in at this time. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll leave that up to you. I think we talked about that at one meeting briefly. It's Scott, <clears throat> my observation, I've seen Scotch pine planted in very wet areas and they did quite well, almost in standing water, one, of, one, one little place I looked at. Um, and they would probably do all right. Then they're, they're not going to provide the foliage protection or whatever that balsam fir or spruce does. They're more like a white pine. Is there another tree that you would recommend, Kenny? It'd be another good place to put some. <clears throat> no, um, I don't really have anything to to recommend uh, different. And um, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not hung up on it. You, do you remember the the scientific name for them? Pinus sylvestris. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. Um, are there any other questions or comments? Um, about the Godfrey Drive buffer strip or um, really the grants in general. The next thing, so my my only two to-do things on those grants, they're due March 11th. So that's coming up, that's next week, Friday. Um, and the only thing I have left to do on them is to get Dave and Cindy to sign the letters of support. They're already drafted up. Um, and so I can reach out to, to them, um, either via email or tomorrow with Rob when he's here to figure out a time to come down and sign those. I think Dave might be frozen, but okay. Um, and then it sounds like everybody here has already read the grants, um, and provided no comments or no notes, so that's good. If you do have any comments or notes, I just wish to have them back by March 7th so that I could submit that um, well before the deadline. Okay. Jen, I think you've done a great job with the, the one so far. I think uh, Jennifer might have been thinking about getting the program to control invasive species. Did she talk at all with you, Jennifer Dan? Okay, I'll, I'll uh, circle back later on and uh, give you some information about a program that might be used to control invasives. Excellent. All right. Welcome back, yeah. Pat and Dave. Can't hear you because you're muted. It tells us that our internet is unstable, so we may phase out again. <laughs> okay. No problem. So let's move on to the um, brown tail moth update. Or no, so uh, uh, the Bennick Road Clearing Project update. I believe Rob just wanted to add this in here um, to get any questions or comments from you guys. If you, if anybody had a chance to go down and look at that area to find, you know, any any special trees or anything like that, um, and just revisit revisit that before they do any work at the end of this month. I've got nothing to add. Okay. Yeah, just watching for the work to start. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll move on to the brown tail moth um, update. We had a trimming event on February 16th. So I'll just share my screen, screen quick to uh, give you just a quick update.
can you guys see uh, the web page? All right. So I have some things on the web page. Um, just some more kind of information pertaining to the new list research, um, some video clips, news articles, uh, the main public radio segment on it, and that kind of stuff. And our, our maps are actually starting to fill up quite nice, so that's good. Uh, the Bangor Daily News actually just did a an article on last Friday, maybe, and um, said that we were creating this these collections. So that was pretty neat. We get we I've gotten a lot of emails and calls of people reporting and and learning how to take care of the nest. So that's that's great. Um, and then. Like I said, on February 16th, we had a clipping event at the school. So these are some pictures I just wanted to briefly show you guys. Uh, we had some tree services there. We had some or, uh, tree board members there and a couple from the public. Um, it was a very, very cold day, as Kenny can attest to. Um, but they, we trimmed quite a few, so that was good. It was right um, in between the middle school and the high school. So, um, Kenny, is there any statewide, um, how, how are the statewide events going on? Um, how have they been? Uh, pretty much along the same lines that we've been doing, nothing too different. Um, we were very fortunate to have Alison Canody, the, the state entomologist there as well. So that added a lot of just uh, information. Uh, so it, it seems like there's some communities who are really on board with getting out there and trying to do stuff and others are catching up. And hopefully, uh, <coughs> hopefully we have a, a nasty year so that they, they don't survive and we don't have to do another one. But I've being the pessimistic Scott, I'm thinking next year we'll we'll pro probably end up with more people attending a session. But yeah, it's mixed. I, I think in terms of uh, what Sarno had done, uh, Megan, you have been awesome. I can't stop singing your praises. Well done. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Any questions about brown tail moth? All right, we'll move on to the Arbor Week planning. Um, so Arbor Week, there's a correction in the in the uh, agenda. Arbor Week is actually May 16th through the 21st, not that April date that we originally showed. So um, I just learned, and I'm sure you guys already knew, but I just learned that uh, Maine celebrates their Arbor Day in in, uh, in May and not April. So that's great because then that will coincide better with our planting event um, at the Godfrey Drive as well. So um, I know briefly last last meeting we talked about the Arbor Day celebration at Asa Adams. Um, I didn't know if anybody had any other thoughts for an Arbor Day event. Um, we wanted to bring it up this meeting just so that if there was any grand ideas, we, we have enough time to plan for them. I know that Rob said you guys are going to be talking more about that next meeting, but I at least wanted to get it on the radar so that if anybody had other ideas, it is the 25th um, anniversary of uh, Tree, Tree USA anniversary, I believe. And Rob was saying that normally, um, you go to Asa Adams and you do stuff in the garden with the with the fifth graders and all of that. So if that's kind of what we're thinking, we can we can always just stick to that as well. Feel free to shout out any other ideas I have. Well, you talked about using the uh, Godfrey Drive planting as a another event. Yep. I don't know if if we wanted to. Um, depending on where we are with uh, the grant, I'm trying to remember the, the timeline, but to be able to talk about that or do something with that timeline, there we go.
yeah, May 16th to the 31st, send out information to the public. So if we wanted to tie something in with, uh, you know, you're gonna, you might see somebody coming around looking at the trees in the public rights of way and. Yeah. Some more of a educational, maybe outreach kind of component to that planting event as well. Yeah. During Arbor Week, I like that. And, and not not just the planting, but also the um, the inventory. So, yeah. So both of those. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, and I'm not sure how you got connected with the the BDN article for Brown Tail Moth, um, which was great. But I wonder if that same um reporter sawyer would be interested in maybe covering that school event that that um you all have done in the past that fifth grader event that could be a good story i know that's not that's more like promotion it's not as much of an activity but it could just be something to create more awareness and could be a good story i know reporters are often looking for story ideas so yeah it'd be a good one definitely So then during Arbor Week, we would have the Godfrey Drive planting event. We would have um, the celebration at Asa Adams and then also put together some education and outreach materials that whole kind of week or maybe that Monday of and get those sent out and, and um, tell people about, tell the public about um, our tree update and also the planting event. I like it. That's pretty comprehensive. I like it. Okay. Anything else um, about Arbor Week and planting? Okay. Nope. So that brings us to our monthly tree board activity update. So um, I'll let you guys take the reins on that. If there's any updates or. So that would be, yeah, there they go. Are they back? Yeah, they're back. So we're up to the uh, chairperson's update, Dave and Pat. We don't have any update. There's nothing new other than what you've been discussing. So no update. Thanks, Pat. Okay. Did you hear me? No. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll be back on. <laughs> okay. Well, great. I feel like I um, flew through that. So, is there? There has to be things that I missed, you guys. <laughs> so. We're a pretty simple, straightforward group. Uh, it's there weren't any trees that we had to uh go take a look at yeah. hey pat and tom dave hello Sorry. It just keeps losing us. we we did hear that they there's no update this time no update correct yep we got it So motion to adjourn. Seconded. Is that Jason? Okay. Well, you guys are great. Thank you. I'm, I hope I didn't stumble through that too much, but that does update. So if there's anything else, um, that's, I think that's all we need. You did very well. Thank you. Yeah, good Appreciate job. Appreciate you stepping in. Thank you. All right, take care.
Have a good Thank evening. You. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Oh, yeah.